what it is, man. God damn. Golden Key fucking productions, man. About fucking time. But yeah, man, I got a lot to say, man. A little bit of time to say it, though. But yeah, shout out Golden Key, man. We finally got to get there and get together and work. You know what I mean? Been years and years in the making. But other than that, man, D Games right here. Puffing on the swisher, yes. got me feeling hella bit. Knocking at the back door, fuckers won't let me in. Yeah, nigga, Hear you rap niggas, but your shit so irrelevant. Trash. Nigga, I'm a tour, going places you ain't never been. Never balling, no time out, they gon' have to find uh -huh. out. Coop sitting low, this is shit you gotta climb out. Okay. Niggas on the west coast, this a different time route. Uh -huh. I part music, let me show you what the crime about. I'm just here grinding, man. New music on the way, money by the means, part six. New World Order. You, you on know part I mean? six? Part six, man. I've been grinding, man. Five, about five, six mixtapes, man. I'm in. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, man, if you ain't consistent in this rap game, we need to do this shit. Okay, D Games, man. I, I know I told you I wasn't going to ask you no questions, but I do got some questions for you. Ask me, brother. Ask me. Because I do see you as one of the, uh, the do it yourself artists of the game. Oh, yeah. Early on in your career, um, you made your own beats. I even seen you you shoot your own videos or <laughs> you know all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Why why do you choose to go that route or you know what's up with all that? Me personally, man, I always been an independent dude. Man, I don't, me personally, I don't like like niggas doing nothing for me. So when it comes to being independent, I'm gonna take that route from the whole way through. From the majors, I ain't I ain't nah. That ain't that ain't my input. You know, I like to do things myself so I can have 100% input in it. At the end of the day, if you ain't got 100% input, it ain't your music. You know what I mean? You don't want niggas behind the desk trying to control what you do. It probably take long for a nigga to get on. Best believe when a nigga get on, it's going to be all profit. You know what I mean? So that's what it is. It's about grinding, putting work in, and reaping the benefits of the work that you put in. You know what I mean? Point plain simple. Okay, so as far as, like, when you was on the, I mean, you still on the come up now, but yeah. I've heard that you make your own CDs. Oh, yeah. Make the covers to them. No question. You got your own, you, you built your own studio in the crib. No question. Uh, what, 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 what else, what, what's some insight for upcoming artists that you feel like some knowledge that you want to drop on them and let them know some of the essentials when you coming up that they need to have? When I first got in the game, right, I'm reaching out to niggas. Niggas was shutting me down, shutting me down, shutting me down. I said, yo, let me get a beat. <clears throat> niggas ain't giving me no beats. So I was like, shit, let me got them go to got them learn how to make beats. I was like, yo, let niggas get on my song. Let niggas got them feature. Niggas ain't fuck with me. So I was like, man, fuck them niggas. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do this shit myself. Yo, you got them use your studio, bro. Nah, shit ain't go through. So got now, in the day, you can't, in this, in this business that you in, man, you can't depend on nobody but yourself. Cause best believe, don't nobody had the same drive that you got. So a nigga can't sit here and tell you, yo, I'm gonna look out for you. But he ain't got the same drive you got. So at the end of the day, if he ain't got the same push and the same goddamn pull you want, you wasting your time. So do it yourself, man. It, it, it might take four, four, five, six years, but you know what I mean? The shit gonna happen. If it, you hat, you hat. One thing about it, you gonna get niggas' attention. It just, I'm gonna just do it myself type nigga, you know what I mean? Built the studio from ground up, put money in the shit. Me, me and my niggas, we got them go from fucking here to California in a fucking car. Yeah, you know I look, I want, that was my next question. It's a lot of artists from this area right. that probably never experienced or seen some of the stuff that you've seen True when you was traveling. Um, let the people know like some of the places you've been in and how did that come about? Real shit, I've been down in the air state and got them United States, man. It just is about getting a group of niggas and you know what I mean, y'all got the same dream. Y'all trying to make that shit happen, you know what I mean? I'm with Collabo Records, you know what I mean? I had signed with them. I've been with them since like what? Four, about four years, you know what I mean? We got an independent deal and we working it, you know what I mean? So it's just about getting a bunch of niggas that got the same love and the same passion, the same dream, the same goals as you got and willing to take from here to fucking Norfolk to fucking Los Angeles, 35 hour fucking drive. Y'all drove all the way there? All the way there, 35 hours. What? How long did that take? 35 fucking hours. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You know, when we started on the way, man, Arizona, mm. Texas, we had a couple shows in Texas, uh, Vegas, um, goddamn, what else, Denver, been everywhere, man, I'm proud to say that, you know what I mean, off, off of being independent, so you, you don't really need no, you don't really need no major to sit here and back you, I probably ain't got a buzz that the next nigga got off of major, 
But you know what I mean? In due time, the shit gonna come. You know what I mean? Just keep grinding. It. Other than that, get a bunch of niggas that's behind you. Got the same goal you got, man. And keep pushing. If niggas ain't got that same goal, then they, they, they niggas in the fucking way. Point blank period. What's one of your most memorable moments from uh, when you traveled and you know you was on the road? Oh, uh, shit. And what's the way it happened? Beside, beside the females, you know what I mean? That's a whole different story. I don't really want to get into that. But as far as music-wise, man, just being, just to wake up in a new city and let motherfuckers know your name. Like, we ain't got them Las Vegas and niggas seeing me and seeing my CD out there at the same time. And, and being able to connect, we eating that goddamn Roscoe's chicken and waffle and in the hood of uh, LA and shit. And we meeting and networking with niggas and shit like that. All we ain't got damn Denver, Colorado eating with, and chilling with niggas and shit and putting your face and your music in that same spot that you at. You know what I mean? Best believe, don't get me wrong, the internet is that's where it's at. But ain't nothing like being there live in the flesh. Like, you know what I mean? I'm from fucking Norfolk, nigga. I'm in goddamn Denver, Colorado. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm in Miami, Florida right now. Here go my CD. Take a listen to it. You don't like it? So be it. Best believe, I got here for some fucking reason. That's what it is, man. You know what I mean? But yeah, Money by any Means Part 6, man. New World Order, man. We gonna drop that bitch real soon, man. I'm working. Let's believe that. I ain't just sitting here bullshit, but you're working. Part 6, I'm working. That's what it is, man. Who let the people know who always giving, giving that exclusive, exclusive interview. Fucking interview, man. For Golden Key Goddamn Productions, man. I just wanna say Golden Key Productions, man. Long time coming, man. But best believe we gonna make it work, man. I, me I remember Golden Key. We was young, man. Tomorrow we were young before <laughs> music was even in, in the picture. You know what I mean? We was young, like real young, out Huntersville, going to goddamn school and shit. But we seen each other grow, man, as far as music and video production and shit like that. So it's always a goddamn helping hand. When I call, I always get an answer, man. So I ain't no phony shit. But yeah, go to keep productions, man. That's that motherfucking nigga. Real shit. D games for a stamp on me. Uh. Bins got me taking up both lanes, all black wealth, interior, cocaine, suicide doors.